Well, here we're looking at uh, uh, gold uh, GLD, and we could see that we were seeing some long-term divergence here on the 60-minute. We've been talking about the fact that this, yeah, although this has been trying to go higher here, we had our concerns that we were really starting to see this weaken, uh, have a tough time kind of breaking through this 116 range. And I said, yeah, you, know, may, you might see it go a little higher here, but uh, overall, there's a lot of risk to the upside here as this is having a very tough time doing that. You may see another retest here or very, very likely. I felt, um, and uh, you know, we, we see the break here of uh, of GLD, and I do think you'll see this continue to extend lower, uh, at least probably back to this uh, 111, probably even break this weekly pivot low around 110. 60 I would watch you know around there though if it's going to hold it'll try to hold there temporary but a break there I think we easily see this go to go to some new lows potentially here I just watch for this because this you know this could be your four wave in a in a in a five wave move uh, that could be a, a lot more dramatic here so watch uh, this I do think that we could see some continued action to the downside and uh, you know this is really just had a tough time trying to break higher um, and again, it was it really had a long, uh, you know, had had further to go. We knew that we felt that uh, basically because we were looking at this on the daily, and we knew that uh, it was breaking through some very significant prior swing lows. We talked about that uh, several times um, in our videos here, and that uh, prices are trying to get back up there, and it's starting to see this resistance, especially off this trend line here, and that's exactly what we saw the continuation of that move.